Okay, so now that you've filled out some information about parabolas, both what we knew before and what we can now know, looking at them in another form, their vertex form, as opposed to their standard form, we're going to use some of those formulas that you just copied out of your book to identify some different characteristics of parabola, parabolas. So for each of the examples, there's three examples. Um, so I'm going to do the first one, and then I would encourage you, if you're ready, to try the second one. If you're not quite ready, watch me do the first two, and then try the third one. Uh, but we're going to find each of these for each one, and we're going to sketch a graph of the parabola. There's two separate ways to do this. You can use it by do it by memorizing and using the formulas, or you can do it by looking at the graph. Um, <clears throat> if I don't have to memorize something, it makes me happy. I'm not especially good at memorizing. So I would prefer to be able to look at a graph and understand what I'm doing instead of memorizing a formula. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look at this. And the first thing I do, one thing I do have to memorize are my different formulas for opening up and down and for opening left and right. So first thing I do is I try to figure out which formula this is mimicking. Well, I notice that this is the formula where my x is squared as opposed to my y squared. So I see that this is mimicking a formula of 4p times y minus k equals x minus h squared. <clears throat> so this is the open up or open down formula. I notice that in order f um, for my equation to, um, to match this um, formula, it would mean that my P would have to be 2 in order for 8 to be equivalent to 4P. My K would have to be negative 3 because if I were to put negative 3 into the formula, that's what would give me a positive 3. And my H would have to be 4. So before I find anything, I look at what this graph is. So that means I have a vertex of 4, negative 3. So I'm going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4 and down 3. So about right here. My P is 2, which means I go up 2 to get to my focus and down 2 to get to my directrix. And my parabola looks something like this. So now from here, I'm going to go ahead and fill in all of my um, information that are characteristics. So I'm going to say that my orientation, I can see, is opening up. I know this because P was greater than 2 and the x was squared instead of the y. I can see that my vertex, as I said momentarily ago, was 4, negative 3. It's always going to be hk regardless of what way it opens. The h is always going to be with the x. The k is always going to be with the y. Um, I know that my focus, I can see, is using the same x value of 4, which my I know my... My graph is off a little, but it's hard to write on, on this with my little um, quadrants. So my focus is 4 for the x value. It's moved up two values from the y from negative 3, so negative 1. So I can either get it off the graph, or remember I can use that formula that you took down out of your book, which tells me if it opens up, my formula for my focus is h comma k plus p. Um, let's see, I can also find my axis of symmetry. Again... I have a formula I can use, but I can see that it's just going to go through my vertex and my vertex. So this is going to be a vertical line with all of my x values the same. Notice all of my x values are over 4. So I'm going to say my axis of symmetry is x equals 4. If I wanted to, um, again, I could use my formula that says x equals h if it opens up. And then finally, my directrix. I've already got that drawn in. I noticed that um, my directrix, they all have the same y value. The y value is 2 down from the vertex. So I'm going to go ahead and say y equals negative 5. And again, I could have used the formula that tells me when I open up, my directrix is y equals k minus p. So either way, from the formula or from the graph. Um, let's go ahead and look at example 2. This time I notice it's the y that's being squared. So I notice that this is mimicking the equation 4p times x minus h equals y minus k squared. So that means that in order for 4p to equal 2, p must be 1 half, since half of 4 is 2. I notice that my h value, what would I have to subtract to get a plus 6? I'd have to get subtracted negative 6. 
and my k value, what would I have to subtract to get a plus 1? I'd have to subtract a negative 1. So that is telling me that my orientation, since it's y squared, it's either left or right. Since p is greater than 0, it's going to open right. And I have my vertex written down here. My vertex is always going to be h comma k regardless of how it opens, so I get negative six, one, negative one. I'm gonna go ahead and plot this, and I'm gonna use that plot to help me figure out uh, my focus, my axis of symmetry, and my directrix. Since I don't like using a formula, but notice I could from here just plug into these formulas from up above. The only thing to be careful of is my formulas switch somewhat when I'm dealing with opening left or right. So make sure that you're using the correct formula. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back six, one, two, three, four, five, six, down one, so I'm about right here. And I'm opening to the right, and my p is one half. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get it in this small. My directrix should be half behind my parabola, and my focus should be up a half. And it looks like I'm in one, so it's a little hard to tell on my on my picture there. Um, that's kind of the best I can do. So now from here, I've got my orientation. I got my vertex. If I write out what my focus is. I notice that I'm going to go back a half less than what I went back before. So I'm going to go back a half negative 5.5 and I'm still going to go down 1. So again, I could use, also use my formula that tells me I take h plus p comma k. So I could have taken my negative 6 plus 1 half to get that negative 5.5 and used a formula as well. To get my axis of symmetry, Axis of symmetry will always cut my parabola in half, so it would cut in half if I was along this line here. I see that this line all have a y value of negative 1, so I'm going to say y equals negative 1, or the formula y equals k. And then finally my directrix, it's a half a unit back from my vertex as I always go forward or back p, and I see that it is a vertical line all having the same x value. That x value is negative 6.5, or if I didn't want to use my graph, I can use the formula y equals h minus p. <clears throat> Looking at the final example, as I said before, this would be a good one for you to pause and try. Okay, so now that you've had a chance to try one, let's go through it together. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to figure out what form I have here. So I see I have y minus k squared equals p times x minus h. I see that my p, in order for 4 to become, oops, that was supposed to be 4p, sorry about that. In order for 4p to become negative 8, I see p has to be negative 2. Um, I see my k value is just 3, and I see my h value, h value is negative 1, my k value is three. Um, so now from here I have my orientation. Since it's a y that's squared, it's either left or right. Since p is negative, it's going to open left. I have my vertex. It's just h comma k, negative one comma three. I can find my focus. Uh, again, I like to look at my graph, so I'm going to go back one, up three, especially since I have to graph it for the directions anyway. It's going to open to the left. My focus is going to be a distance of p units from my um, vertex. So um, it, the reason I can think of it as negative is because I'm going to technically be going back to to get to my focus as opposed to forward to. My focus is always inside of my parabola. And my directrix is two behind it then, under it, whatever you want to think of. And my axis of symmetry will go through the middle and cut it in half. So my focus, I can see now I just read my point. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have an x value that's 2 less. So negative 3, same y value. Or if it opens left or right, I can use the formula h plus p comma k. And then I have to find my axis of symmetry. So I can see it is a horizontal line that all have the same y value. They all have a y value of 3. I could also have used the formula y equals k. And then finally, I write my directrix out. I can see it's a vertical line passing through x equals 1. In fact, all of them are x equals 1. So I'm going to go ahead and use the equation x equals 1, which is the formula y equals h minus p.
So again, um, is it faster to use a formula than graphing something out? Yes, it is. Um, however, it is nice that you don't have to always have to, to try to remember and come up with what do I add the P to? Do I add it to the H? Do I add it to the K? Is it Y equals? Is it K equals? Or excuse me, is it Y equals or is it X equals? Um, since they do kind of flop depending on if it's up or down or left or right.